I'm CBC meteorologist Ryan Snodden here in Bedford. This is where I live, and it happens to be one of the communities that was hardest hit by the recent rain and flooding as this Sackville River surged. So why was this rainfall event so extreme? Well, when it comes to our complex atmosphere and how it behaves, there are always multiple factors. But what turned our recent rainfall from impactful to historical was what we refer to as training thunderstorms. Training is when a series of thunderstorms move over the same area for hours and hours. These thunderstorm trains typically set up along a boundary in the atmosphere, like a cold front or in this case, a trough of low pressure. That boundary keeps the thunderstorms clustered together, all moving in the same direction. Thunderstorms, they have a shelf life. They can only rain for so long before the colder air falling out of the storm overtakes and cuts off the warmer air rising up and fueling it. However, with training storms, the cold air flowing out from a dissipating storm actually helps to develop a newly forming thunderstorm right behind it. Looking back at the radar at this event, we can see multiple lines of training thunderstorms throughout Friday afternoon, Friday evening, the overnight, and into Saturday morning. And because that boundary was in place, those training storms were mainly clustered in a path just 50 kilometers wide, stretching from Queens County through Lunarburg County to Northwest Halifax and into Hans County. Given these thunderstorms were developing along a conveyor belt of tropical moisture streaming into the region from the south, meant that they had plenty of fuel and were all heavy rain producers. As we now know, the result was an extreme rainfall event, which led to historical flooding in those areas. 200 to 250 millimeters or more fell, most of it within just six to 12 hours. So was climate change a factor? Climate scientists agree that you can't point to any single event and say that was caused by climate change. However, experts have predicted that we would see more extreme events like this in a warming planet. With the flooding in Inganish in 2021, Hurricane Fiona in 2022, and now the wildfires and flooding over the past two months, we are certainly checking the box for more extreme weather events here in Nova Scotia.